Hi, I'm Vincenzo Savona, and I lead the Laboratory of Theoretical Physics of Nanosystems. In our group, we mainly do research in two fields, the theory and simulation of open quantum systems, and quantum computing and quantum algorithms. These are also the two possible topics of the TPCAT projects. And let's have a closer look at them. So for the first topic, uh, projects will consist in studying various models of open quantum systems, both for understanding their fundamental properties and for possible applications. An open quantum system is a system which is subject to the influence of the environment. Uh, this influence can be in the form of random disturbance, so noise, uh, or uh, external driving fields. All quantum technology platforms of today, uh, they fall into this category, and therefore they need these tools to be uh, described and understood. Like in all projects, uh, in the first semester, you will mostly do some reading uh, to learn the basic theoretical and numerical tools to model open quantum systems. After that, you will uh, gradually move on to a specific project that we will define together. Notice that this topic uh, implies uh, the use of numerical uh, simulation. So you must be really at ease with coding and with the uh, numerical uh, uh, methods. As an example uh, of a recent result of our group in this field, uh, uh, there is this manuscript. Here we have uh, developed a new bosonic code. That is to say a scheme to encode the quantum information in the states of a harmonic oscillator in a way <clears throat> that allows detecting and correcting quantum errors. So this is very important for uh, uh, modern quantum computing. Bosonic codes uh, are very promising uh, for uh, quantum error correction. And uh, the one we developed uh, has a, a, a capability of correcting errors, which is significantly improved over the present state of the art. The second topic <clears throat> is quantum computing and in particular uh, uh, development of quantum algorithms. Here again, uh, you will first do some reading so to acquire uh, the, the right <coughs> training and knowledge in quantum information and coding. Uh, then we will decide together a project which can span a, a very, very uh, broad variety of themes uh, uh, going from uh, quantum algorithms uh, for quantum simulation or variational quantum algorithms for uh, various purposes uh, meant to run on near term quantum computers or uh, quantum inspired classical algorithms. Uh, you will get a chance to uh, work uh, on the IBM uh, quantum computers, which are uh, publicly available using uh, the Kiski platform. It is highly recommended to take the course on uh, quantum information and quantum computing, the, which is called the FIS uh, uh, 641, which I teach in the winter semester. Uh, as an example of, for this topic, we recently developed a quantum algorithm for the simulation of the steady state of open quantum systems. Uh, this work, uh, which is published as an, origi an original result, uh, was developed uh, by a TPCAT, who then <coughs> became a master student. This is just to remind you that it is possible, but by no means guaranteed, that uh, your project uh, will evo could evolve into an original scientific publication if you are uh, good and if you work well. Uh, and that's all. Uh, let me give you, first of all, uh, uh, some success stories. Uh, uh, so speaking of uh, being good, uh, if you opt for a TP4 in our lab, and if you are really excellent, you may have the opportunity to go uh, for your master's project uh, elsewhere, uh, either in uh, uh, very good laboratories around the world or in industry. Uh, this is a short list of uh, what uh, we managed to do only very recently. Uh, one of our students uh, went uh, for uh, his master's project at Quantum Machines, uh, another one uh, at IBM Quantum in Rushlikon, and I have uh, two students uh, right now, a PhD student and a master's student uh, at the Open Quantum Lab at CERN. And uh, that's all. Uh, so first of all, uh, uh, you should know that they will accept only very few students. Uh, quality is better than quantity. Uh, if you're interested, uh, uh, you get in touch with me by email, but please, uh, uh, as soon as you contact me per email, uh, from the very beginning, send me a transcript of your grades, uh, the most updated, uh, as updated as possible. Um, also, notice that uh, in uh, answering uh, your request, uh, I will make a decision only in September because uh, there are exchange students coming back and there are foreign master students who join uh, later 
EPFL, and it would be unfair uh, for the students to uh, make a decision before and therefore to saturate all the available positions. Okay. Um, that's all. Thank you very much. And if you're interested, uh, just uh, email me. Uh, thank you.